Hello and welcome. I'm the well-paid geek. I'm sure those of you who are new to JavaScript are aware of React. You keep hearing it mentioned and you can tell it's important. But maybe you still don't really know what it is. Not a problem. Just watch this video to find out. React was created by Facebook, I believe initially for use in building the chat feature on their website. Unlike its major rival, Angular, which is a fully blown MVC framework, React is simply a view library, which is basically the V in MVC. This means that React is purely responsible for the visible user interface, nothing else. It has no functionality for application-wide state management, routing, HTTP requests, or any of the other functionality which is required for a single-page web app, but which is not counted as being part of the view. For, for functionality we require which is beyond the scope of React, we can use other modules. This was a very deliberate design decision on the part of React's creators. It does one thing, and it does it very well, then allows developers to pick and choose other modules to build the ecosystem for their application. Probably the most important thing to know about React is that it is component-based. You use React to build small, reusable, self-contained UI components. These components can be passed and subsequently store data and render differently based on this data. You would then use these components a bit like it's probably best to think of them as little building blocks and you combine them together to build your UI. So let's take this React app here that I've built as an example. You may have noticed it's not very pretty, but I'm not a designer, so cut me a break. Um, so across the top here, we have a navigation component. Within that, we have individual navigation item components. Now, each one of these will have some properties and they will be the URL, the title text, and a property to say whether the item is currently selected or not. So you can see like search is currently selected. Then if we do a search for some dialects, so now we have this search results container here. Um, this just holds all the search results. And then we have individual search result item components. And each one of these will have a thumbnail URL as a property. If this all seems a bit abstract at the moment, don't worry. I've got plenty more React videos coming over the next couple of weeks and things will become a lot clearer if you just stick with it. For example, tomorrow's video will show you how to create a new React project from scratch and within that project, create a simple new component. That sounds like a lot um, for one video, but it should come in at under 10 minutes. So less than 10 minutes and you know how to create a new React project and a new component. Later in the week slash next week, I'll show you how to create a more complex real world component. It'll be one of those text boxes like you get on the Google homepage where you start typing and then you get an autocomplete dropdown. Stay tuned. Like I said, I've got a lot more React and JavaScript videos coming out this week and over the coming weeks as well. You're not going to want to miss out on these, so click that subscribe button now.